Welcome to What's Now. I'm your host, Christine Napier. This is a show where we talk about what is trending and what people are specifically discussing right now. And most of the show is dedicated to your health. But up first, we are going to talk about whiskey distilling. There's a new series, a reality series, all about these moonshiners. Let's take a look. Today we are talking about the all-new season of Moonshiners, and joining me is Mark Ramsey and Digger Main. They are two distillers. Looking forward to learning more about everything that this new season has to offer. Thanks so much for joining me today, Digger and Mark. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having us. So, Mark, let's start with you. Tell me more about what you do. Well, gosh. Uh, you know, who would have ever thought that uh, what we did in secret would have come full circle and now is very public. Uh, you know, we 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 dabbled in moonshine for a lot of years, Digger and I, and uh, you know, we're just we're amazed at, at where it's ended up at and the popularity of it. You know, we would have never thought of it. And Digger, when you were younger and thought about your career path, is this where you thought you would go? Never had a clue. I, you know, I've, since I was a young teenager, I was fascinated with the production of moonshine. It just, it, it just floorboarded me that you could take this slop over here and it come out over here and be just crystal clear as spring water and, and have a right friendly effect. Yeah, buzzy. Yeah. <laughs> and Mark, what's your favorite thing about just filling and tell me more about your location, where you are and where you're going through this process. I didn't hear that man. Uh, she wants to know where you started, I think. Where did now, is that what you were after, Christine? Yes, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. What where you where you got started? Yeah, I'm just curious about the process and your location. Oh, we never tell exactly where we are. <laughs> you know, it's a... We never thought that it would happen this way. Uh, like Digger said, he was fascinated. I just kind of fell into it uh, by accident through uh, popcorn sutton and some of the old timers around. Uh, my family made moonshine in years and years ago, but I was never involved in it as a family thing. So, you know, it was, uh, it was just something that was fun when I was young. So there's that. You know, just to touch on the fact, you know, the, as far as the moonshiners in our neck of the woods, we, you know, we looked up to those guys. Those guys weren't hellions. They weren't hoodlums. They were family men. Right. And they did exactly what they had to do to be able to feed their family. So, you know, they, they were the people in their community that folks went to if they needed something. If they were hurting, they knew where to go. So these guys, you know, they, they were up on a pedestal in our eyes. And what can viewers expect to see from this new series, Mark? Well, this season, it's been, obviously, it's been very challenging to us as well as uh, everyone else. Uh, you know, I can't divulge a lot of the secrets about what's upcoming. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of strange things this year. Uh, the, the COVID has impacted everything. But, hey, luckily, the moonshine business is, is sore and it's thriving with people having to stay home. It just as well to be happy if they're home. So get liquored up and have a good time. On that note, so are pregnancies. They're up about 60%. You know, in December and January, I'm anxious to see it's probably going to be the new baby boom. <laughs> yeah, it definitely a consequence of the pandemic because people are drinking more and Digger, did you expect that back when things first started and there were all these shutdowns? Was this something that you anticipated? Did I expect the shutdowns? Or expect the consequence little, little echo. of, yeah, just of people consuming more alcohol because of this. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, when, then, when, the, when the shutdown started, we really didn't. We thought, well, we're done. We'll just have to lay back and do the best we can. Uh, but actually, you know, liquor sales, you know, taxed and untaxed, have gone through the roof. which is great for everything that you do. Where can we get more information, Mark? How can we follow the two of you and learn more about 
everything you do. It really is fascinating. I can't. Michelle, we, we're having trouble hearing you. You've got an echo. It's like there's a speaker behind you. It's repeating. <laughs> I'm just, where can we get more information about the show? Uh, well, discovery.com. Um, they, you know, they, I think that they keep everything updated. And we've got a website we try to update, but we don't do real good because I mean, look at us. Do we look like we're tech gurus? You know, and, and like we go, we said, we, we, we don't know how it's going to play out. We see it the same time as you see it. Uh, we don't get a, a preview of what's going to be on. Uh, we remember part of what we've done. It's going to be a very interesting season. I think people will find it interesting because you know, due to current circumstances, we've had to adjust as well. And I think the viewers will find it interesting. And then also another myth about the show, people think that we work around each other and we don't. Every region that these folks are at, we don't have a big warehouse we all wait for them to film us in. Uh, we, you know, we don't interact very little. Well, Digger and Mark, thank you so much for joining me here on Park City Television. It's been a pleasure speaking with both of you, and I'm so looking forward to this all-new season of Moonshiners. It airs on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on Discovery. And once again, thanks for talking with Park City Television. Thank you. Thank you Stay Michelle. safe in Salt Lake City. Thank you so much. You too. Yes, ma'am.